We do have two guests this month. We've got our new board president, fifth year board member, uh, Mr. Kevin Blake is with me. And as always, because we're coming to the end of the year and a lot of celebrations, we've got high school principal Shannon Murray with us. Hi, Kevin. Shannon, Kevin, thanks for uh, coming on. And John, we'll start right away. What's going on with the school district? I mean, like I said, we're near the end here. Graduation is just around the corner and some kids are leaving us. They are, and it's hard to believe. It seems like just yesterday that uh, the snow was on the ground and, and we, were, we were plugging our way through the school uh, year, and now next week we've got graduation. So we had our board meeting last night. We celebrated a lot of accomplishments. Uh, we recognized those seven graduates from the boot college, which uh, they got to make their own boots in partnership with Weinbrenner, and they were wearing their boots at the celebration a couple of weeks ago, and it was really cool. Um, it was a great experience for those seven kids that got to make their own boots with the help of uh, the Weinbrenner partnership. Uh, we also celebrated Kiva, our therapy dog, last night. Uh, Mrs. Carlson's second grade class did an anti-bullying song, which was very well received by everybody. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. They uh, they have a, a great message and a very talented group of kids, and it's hard to believe that they're only in second grade. Uh, Maple Grove recognized the Hamburg and Corning Fire Departments. They come in and they read to our students and they provide a bike raffle and they're extremely supportive. So any time off that they get, they come in and, uh, and really help our students there at Maple Grove. Um, Kim Sample was recognized again and uh, she was, uh, secured a Mimic Foundation uh, grant last night and that's $500 for the purchase of uh, positive behavior intervention uh, store items that our students when they receive uh, a, a coupon for positive behavior this all goes into a raffle drawing and then they get to choose items from the store and so that was very supportive for those students at Kate they've been working very very hard on their behaviors and then uh, finally we recognized uh, Steve Wikes uh, that was a surprise uh, Steve went above and beyond like most of our teachers do in preparing some of our students for the prom this year and so we had students that got to take place in the prom be through his efforts, all the way from buying them new clothes to going out to dinner the night before the prom and, or the, the, the night uh, of the prom and then uh, experiencing the whole prom scene. And so there were some very appreciative parents. They wanted to reach out and let them know how grateful they were for that experience of their own children. And so uh, Steve Wikes was, was recognized and uh, it was a surprise because uh, he's a very, very humble person. He does things out of the goodness of his heart and he didn't expect any reward, but he certainly got one. And then finally, Abe Akey, he's our student board rep for his one year of service. He'll continue next year and then we're bringing on board uh, next year, junior Bella Troyer. She will be our uh, female student board rep. And so we've got great students. We had a lot of great celebrations last night. It, uh, it's, it's a great day to be a Blue Jay, as I say. And so last night really uh, was the culminating event of all the hard work that the students have done this year. Yep, and we were also recognizing our productions, I know, uh, during that too, which I apologize to Deb and I were going back in our record books and technically this isn't our 20th year. Of, it's our 17th, but 20 years ago we were signed into existence. Okay. Was how okay. everything kind of shook down. So 2021 will be the official 20 years that we have been a station. So I apologize to the board and <laughs> to the public on that one. That's our fault. You were so three years off. We but, were three uh, years off, but we did get to recognize some of our students too, didn't we, John? We certainly did. How many awards did you win last we week? We won five awards. Um, however, there was a little mishap, wasn't there? There was a bit of a mishap. Uh, one of the awards was a surprise, and that was for this program, uh, Blue Jay Chat. I had no idea. I was looking forward to recognizing you guys and your students for all your hard work, and little did I know that I got a little piece of hardware out of that as well, which was a, a really cool surprise. I know that was well received by yeah. uh, Jan Murray and Kevin Blake, too. So, yeah, that was great. Yeah. So, uh, Kevin, with, I mean, all these recognitions, it's nice as a board member to see so many things so many people just pouring their heart into the school district, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You need to recognize not only all, all of the uh, different day-to-day -day things that are going on, but the people going above and beyond and, and really recognize all those efforts. It's, 
really nice just to showcase a few of those. We could spend literally hours every board meeting going through that, but it's nice to bring out a few at the start of a meeting, kind of set that great tone for everything happening positively in the district. Right. So, and like uh, John had said before, Kevin, this is your fifth year on the board, and now you are the uh, president of the board. How does that feel to you that the rest of the board members have said, you're going to be the guy leading us? That's quite a responsibility. It does feel really good that they have that kind of respect and look forward to my leadership style. Jen Seliger, as you guys have talked about before, we certainly celebrate you know, 10 years of service on the board is, is phenomenal in any district. So I certainly have set the bar high for myself that way and trying to get everything ready. It's just going to be another phenomenal year. Yeah. And uh, speaking of phenomenal year, this has been a phenomenal year, but Unfortunately, like every other year, some students leave us. Um, Shannon, I'll start with you on this because you've been around these kids for the last four years. Um, graduation's always been big in your heart, too. You brought that back here to Maryland. First off, I want to thank you for that because it made my graduation special. It's made my brother's graduation special. And uh, looking forward to my youngest brother um, when he comes through to his being special because of you. So I want to thank you for that first. How, um, how is this group different from all the other groups that have come through with you? Well, <clears throat> thank you for those, that, those compliments. I appreciate that. I didn't actually bring back graduation. We've always had graduation. <laughs> I've enhanced and brought back some traditions. Yeah. So, um, I get that. But, yeah, I yeah so. but, but thank you for sharing that. Um, this, the, the most interesting thing about this group is that they're the smallest group that's come through Merrill schools in a long time. In fact, we're actually going to try to get that number. Like, this is the smallest group since whatever year for graduation night. Mm. Um, so that's what just really made this group stand out. Um, for me personally and for Kevin, we both have children in this class. And so uh, not only have we known them for the last four years, we've known many of them since they were walking. And so that's been kind of nice for, for us. Kevin's baby is graduating, mm. uh, sorry, Colby. Mm. And my oldest one is graduating. So that's, uh, that's interesting on a personal level to us. Um, but this is also a really, really accomplished class. For as small as they are, they have done some really big things. We just had a, a ceremony in our um, library this week recognizing two students that got academy appointments, um, one to West Point and one to the Air Force Academy, which is a really, really big deal. Uh, that I think the, what did they say, Dr. Sample, $400,000 those are worth? $400,000, yeah, um, and that's a huge scholarship. Yeah, so that's a, that's a really big one. Um, we have, of course, um, all of our students that are getting their scholarships. We'll recognize them on Wednesday night, the 23rd, at 7 o'clock in, in the Merrill High School Auditorium. And so that's when we recognize uh, the, the, the accomplishments of the seniors in that class, but also the generosity of our community and, and the, the foundations that support. We have, I've always been told that our scholarship is like per capita the best in the state, our scholarship program, which says a lot about our local community. Um, and so that's a really good positive night where students are recognized for their great accomplishments and, and that's super positive. Um, of course, graduation then is Friday, uh, the 25th at six o'clock. Um, and that's gonna be a, a nice affair. We, we, um, we did make some changes years ago to that ceremony to kind of uh, class it up and make it dignified and make it a ceremony. And our students have always responded very favorably to that. I think our parents and our community appreciate that. And it's just a nice, um, it's, a, it's a great evening for, for our community and our school. And it's a way to celebrate the accomplishments of the students from the last four years, or actually 12 plus years, um, and, and kind of set them out into the world. And this group is ready. It's a really good group. And, and so we're excited to see what they can accomplish. So Kevin, I'll move to you now. What stands out to you besides the fact that you know, your kid is graduating and this is Shannon said, but what, what about this group stands out from any other group that you've seen? I'm just looking through and the diversity of all the kids and everything they've done from the academic accomplishments to the athletic accomplishments and just watching them learn and grow throughout their entire school career. It's just been really special and of course it, it'll be emotional for, mm -hmm. for us, specifically for me, for our, our youngest graduating and going on to do good things next year. So it's been to be an exciting time. It'll be a fast couple weeks here. Yeah, sure will. John? You know, from my position as starting as director of special ed and now two years as superintendent, while I was not as close uh, to them and not having a child in that grade, but uh, these students were in second grade when I came to Merrill. And so 
it's you know you blink your eye and, and now they're graduating. Uh, it's a it's a smaller class by number, but they're certainly mighty and powerful. And I'm really anxious to see what the scholarship award dollars are going to be this year yeah. because for such a small class, they are extremely well accomplished. Um, you know, which also reminds me too, and, and, and Mr. Murray and his counselors did a wonderful job of, of pulling off, I think, the first job fair that we've yep. had here at the high school. Yep. And those students, you know, we were all a little nervous, uh, you know, are the employers going to get some students at their table? Are the students going to be prepared? And they certainly were. Uh, there was job applications being filled out right there on the spot. Um, these, these, the high schoolers that we have now, and especially this graduating class, uh, they're gonna they're gonna do some great things. Um, they're setting their own pathway. They came in and they're prepared. They were shaking hands with possible potentially future employers, and uh, we received a lot of compliments from that job fair, which was just yesterday. And so, uh, there's a lot of great things going on here at the high school under Mr. Murray's leadership, and of course Mr. Potter and Mr. Miller and all the wonderful teachers that are here, and the counselors really pulled off a great event. Uh, as as they say, uh, Merrill High School is open for business, and so this graduating class really brings that to the forefront and uh, what they've been able to accomplish while they've been here in Merrill. Right, and some of their accomplishments are, I mean, just to name a few that I can think of off the top of my head, uh, varsity volleyball going on the state the last two years, hasn't it been? Three, uh, three of the last four, yeah. Three of the last mm -hmm. four yep. years, and that means these seniors were, you know, in with that whole, uh, through that whole run, and that's an incredible accomplishment accomplishment to, to the athletic side of what these kids can do. Um, some great runs through playoffs for basketball this year at mm -hmm. least, mm -hmm. which has phenomenal, phenomenally been filmed by Merrill Productions and <laughs> available yeah. for everyone to watch. <laughs> yep. A little shameless plugging. Never anyone, right? <laughs> That's right. No, it works. <laughs> but uh, and our senior award night will also be on Merrill Productions. Uh, anywhere where you can find us it'll be there for people to see and hopefully that money number is higher than it was last year isn't that always the goal yeah uh, I, I certainly believe it to be as with two academy appointments that'll be a very big number this year yeah. Yeah, absolutely yep. Yep. so all right um so the graduation that is Next Friday, the 25th of May at 6 p.m., correct? What time do doors open? The doors open at 5. Um, you know, certainly people can get here early if they want to get great seats. We do have uh, reserved seating on the floor for handicapped and elderly, so there's plenty of those kind of seats available. I would say dress comfortably because it's often warm in there, as, as we know, sitting up on the stage in gowns. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, uh, it will be live broadcast, it's my understanding, on MP3. WJMT will carry it, as, as with the uh, Senior Awards Night on the 23rd. So, um, yeah, get there early, and they open at 5, and find a comfortable seat. And th the ceremony lasts about an hour and a half, is typically what it's been. Yeah, it's so. been about an hour and a half. It will be live streamed on Mary Area Public Schools' YouTube page. Um, that's the best place to find us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, John, uh, going to hand it off to you here. Do you have any questions for our guests today? Um, not really. I know that uh, it, it's still hard for me to believe that next week is graduation and that uh, your youngest was in second grade when I started and yeah. Shannon, your oldest, was a second grader. Yeah. So, um, no, no other questions. Uh, last night, I think at the board meeting, I was accused of throwing some uh, of my guests under the bus. And so I like to keep <laughs> things professional and and uh, this is the way we get these awards, and this is the way your production team gets to uh, bring home some hardware. Yeah, I was told to mention that you throw your guests under the bus um, by one Karen Baker, who's been thrown under the bus twice now by you. <laughs> well, so, she has. Yes, she has. Um, but otherwise, um, it, we're award-winning there, John. Yeah, yeah, and you should be very proud. You've got a great group of students, and... Uh, they're very motivated and, and they've, they've learned so much and they're bringing their creativity really to the Merrill Productions. Right, and well, let's talk about that with Kevin and Shannon since we have a little bit more time on our hands, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, Shannon, with Merrill Productions, I know you've seen it since you've been here and Kevin, you've seen it too since you've been here. Um, to see these kids, um, especially since none of them are seniors, they're all, uh, there's only one junior and the rest are sophomore and freshman. How does that make you feel that they're so willing to do whatever it takes to help showcase Merrill area public schools in the best light possible? 
So I've always been appreciative of two things. One, I think it was my first year here when I got a call um, from somebody, I believe it was at Bell Tower, wondering why the station was down. So that, um, they had a technical difficulty that day, but it, uh, that told me that the community cares, that people watch it and it's an important part of our community, so it's valued. Uh, I also appreciate, particularly recently, the last probably two or three years, it seems like the, the production value has gone up and there's been uh, more camera angles and those kind of things. Uh, I've always been amazed by the, the dedication of your staff and our students that, um, that go to these events, whether it's standing out in the rain and filming a track meet or you know, having a five camera operation at graduation. Uh, it, it, the bar is set very high and the students um, respond very favorably to that and they, they're active and involved and they, they, they appreciate what they're doing and put together great productions as evidenced by the, the awards you guys won the other day. Yeah, definitely, you know, Shannon, just to kind of build off of that, I think it, it exudes what the community has told us, just the dedication to our community, and the students are, are seeing that and actually leading that way, saying, hey, I saw my parents and grandparents do these things. I want to make sure that they can continue to see that if they're out there working or doing something uh, perhaps at a bell tower mm -hmm. or a facility like that where they, we can still showcase sporting and academic events and graduation and awards nights. And just, uh, as Shannon had alluded to, it, it's just seeing it go from year one to year 17, it's just phenomenal and certainly mm -hmm. award winning. Yeah. And I do want to mention too that none of this would be possible without Deborah and um, my boss. She has, I mean, if she wouldn't have given me a job first off here, I don't think I'd still be here to this day. So, and the dedication she has put towards this program is phenomenal. So I do want to give her a, a shout out mm -hmm. right here on this program. If I could just add, uh, Nathan, the, <clears throat> the transition you guys have done to the YouTube channel has been huge. And I think that um, that reaches like a younger generation of an audience and that people can access any homecoming football game at any time or any concert or, you know, Christmas concerts or uh, it's it's really great that those things are accessible right. to our public. Right. Uh, and and so free too. Yes. That mm -hmm. it's, I think the greatest part about that is it's all for free. And another thing to add on to that, Shannon, is um, I know I mentioned this in our in my report to the board uh, last night that um, some of our teachers are using it as a tool to help teach and uh, our students. So it's a great resource for them too. And I welcome any teacher in this building to, if they have an idea to put it to the uh, Maryland Area Public Schools to come to me and we will you know, work with anyone to fit their yeah. teaching needs. Good. So, great. Um, it, nothing else then? Nothing you got else. A plane to catch, don't you? I do. I'm going back for my 10-year high school reunion. <laughs> okay, 40-year high school reunion, I and think uh, you tried that last time. Yes, I did. Out. I'm not fooling anybody. And so, uh, you know, this time of the year is really special. Um, you know, it gives all, us all a chance to reflect back on our own high school education and and uh, graduation and the celebrations and things. But so I'll be spending some time with some much much older people uh, this weekend. <laughs> and uh, then look forward to seeing the class of 2018 graduate. That's, it's, it's always a very special moment, and I'm glad that you're filming it so that if you can't be here and the public is always welcome to attend, they can always, uh, they can always watch the event. Yep, and you, so you're from Arizona. I know Shannon's a uh, graduate of Merrill here. Kevin, were you a Merrill graduate? Or? Yep, Merrill graduate. I actually just got that invitation in the mail for my 30th reunion, so class of 1988. All right. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. So we got three Merrill graduates, one Arizona. You're a little out of place here, John, but you've definitely <laughs> grown your Merrill, haven't you? I'm a proud Blue Jay. All yes, right. absolutely. All right. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for today. Um, once again, for uh, Dr. John Sample, for Kevin Blake, for Principal Shannon Murray. Thank you. I'm Nathan Meyer. Thank you for watching Blue Jay Chat. We'll see you next time.